Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create an overlapping column chart. Now this particular overlapping column chart serves more of a purpose of a kind of a dashboard type of chart where you have your one column for a target and another column for an actual. And there's some constraints with this particular type of chart in the sense that we want our actual column to be further to the left, uh, off-center to the left, and also in front of the target. And the target should be kind of offset to the right and behind the actual. So to create this type of chart, there's actually some things that you would need to adjust for. So let me go ahead and copy this table over here to another sheet. Let me bring up the sheet here and increase the size. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this data. And I'll show you why I'm copying only these particular cells. Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. Now we have this particular table here, this range of data. And I can go ahead and go under Insert and Column, and I just need a 2D column. And I'm going to go ahead and just increase the size of this a little bit. And then do some additional formatting. I'm just going to take away these grid lines, select that, press Delete. I'm going to right click the legend here and bring it to the bottom. Select that and click close and so it's at the bottom. I'm also going to change some of these colors so I'm going to make the target which is red, I'm going to make that gray. Right click that and just select this little smaller menu and just select a gray. That shade of gray is okay. And then right click this particular column and then select uh, black. So now I've kind of got some of the formatting done. And what I want to do is actually, I, want, I want to move this behind this. So if I select that and right click it and go under Format Data Series, you'll notice that now I have some of these series options. And what I want to do is I want to change the overlap. So if I move this over, you'll notice that it changed it, but it moved it in front of that. And maybe I wanted to see if I can adjust the column width. And that really doesn't do anything because it just adjusts the width of the columns there. Uh, let me go ahead and set this back to 175. And what we need to do is the way that uh, Excel looks at this, it sees uh, this this first, it's going to paint that first, it's going to paint this second. So it's kind of like a piece of paper. You put one over the other. So what we need to do is we actually need to insert some dummy data here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, right click, and click Insert. And I'm just going to insert some blank data. So I'm just going to call this blank. And I'm going to select these rows type in the letter 0, and since I selected these, all these rows, I can just press Control enter and it's enter 0 on all these cells. And if I wanted to pull this data into here, I can go right-click and select data and add it, but there's an easier way to do this. You can, I can just select this data, Control c to copy, click into the chart, and then Control v to paste. You'll notice that it's pasted it in, even though it's blank data, the legend had become updated, and the data is there because it's 0, it's basically down here at the bottom. So now what I need to do is I want to create another axis. So what I want to do is I want to have this on the primary axis, which is represents the axis here, this y axis, and then I want to I want to put the actual columns and also the blank columns on a secondary axis, which will show up here. So I'm going to select that. This is selected, right click and go into format data series. And I'm going to plot that on the secondary axis. So now you notice that now this is in, in in front. Uh, this comes first, this comes second. And I also need to plot the blank on the secondary axis. So I'm going to go under Layout. It's hard to select blank, so I'm going to go under Layout. And then there is this selection here under the current selection. I can actually click this drop down and find that series blank. And now it's selected. And I'm going to put that on the secondary axis. And once that's done, what you see here now is the this this is on the primary axis now this is right behind it and it's offset to the left and the actual column is kind of offset to the right and it's in front so no, what I can do right now is I can just do some adjustments with the series overlap and gap and so now I'm just going to click on my target column and I'm just going to move it around now a little bit and kind of kind of play with it a little bit you see that it doesn't really uh, you can't really do anything with the series overlap, but with the gap, you can probably do some things. I'm just going to set that to zero. You can set it to anything because it doesn't do anything, but here is where you kind of can do some of the magic here. You can move the columns a little bit. 
Let me go move that up a little bit. And if that doesn't, if that adjustment on the target column doesn't really kind of fit well, you can actually go to the secondary axis. I'm going to click on the actual. And then here's where I can probably do some movement and it'll change a little bit. And maybe I want to make it a little bit thinner here or adjust, the, adjust this over here. And you can just, uh, you can just do this and kind of fine tune it here. I'm, just, I'm not going to play with it too much because basically this is what we've gotten, what we wanted. Now I want to get kind of the border around here to be black so I'm going to go under border color and I'm going to select solid line and colors black and I can select on this one and also do the same thing, go to border color, solid line and then click on that and select black. So that's done. But one thing that you've noticed that it looks like my targets and my actuals, they, don't, they seem kind of a little off here. They don't seem to match up too much because what's happened is the the maximum values of the axes are different. I want those to be the same. So since the highest number here is 100, I'm going to make that uh, a little bit, a little bit, probably 20% a little bit uh, over. So 120 is fine here, but I want to go ahead and change this to 120. Let me go and select that. And the maxima, I want to change that to 120. Whoops. And also, since, I guess since I'm here, I want to probably have this also max out 120 instead of having it set to automatic. So if I clicked on there, you would notice that it's it's brought me to some different values here. So right now I'm going to change this one to fixed also and to stay there at 120. I'm going to go and click close and I'm pretty much there. I, all I need to do right now is just some cleanup. I'm going to remove this axis. I'm just select that, press delete. Oops, control Z to undo. It deleted everything. Let me go and select. Let me go and select this and then press delete. Select this axis. Axes. I think it's axes. Press delete and then select the legend. I don't need the legend because it's got that blank. I'm going to go ahead and press delete there. Now I want to resize this chart area to make it a little bit smaller so I can put in some text and that can be the actual and that could be the plan. So what I can do is go under insert and go under text box and kind of draw it out here and this is going to be uh, the target and let me go ahead and widen that box up so you can see all the words and then just kind of pull, move it into place. And I can just duplicate this. I don't need to go and go and insert and text box again. I have this selected. I just have to press Control D. It will duplicate that. And all I need to do is just move it and change the text. And this will be actual. All right. And then now I've got that kind of set up. And if I wanted to show this sheet here, um, I didn't want to show this part. I can just actually just kind of move that select that and just move it and just minimize that and it will it will kind of disappear so if you deleted it or if you made it uh, hide it if you hit it if you right click and select hid what it's going to do is probably going to mess up some of the charting because it's going to hide that data but so if you just minimize it the data is still there and it's represented in the chart and so with this kind of chart now um, I'm going to put a title here and I think this one would be uh, sales here right so I just put sales and then we got sales here and when, what we can do now is we can take a screenshot of this and put it into a PowerPoint presentation or put it into a dashboard and this kind of just gives a view a visual view of an actual to a target where the target is kind of being overlapped by this actual the columns here so there's a way that you can create an overlapping column chart so I hope this helps thanks for watching